And that house is literally like right over there. And what I'm hearing are spade foot toads. Now that's a life for me. I've never seen one before. I'm very excited. I want to see one of these things in the wild. But where I, where I came from in New York, there weren't any. So now, down here in Maryland, we got this rain. They're explosive breeders. So I don't have not a large uh, window of opportunity here. They'll probably be done by the end of the day or tomorrow or end of the weekend. You know, it's funny. It's, oh, it's my house right over there. You can see through the trees. That's my house. But, and you can see the fence. The house on the other side of the fence. It'd be so much easier to get here from the neighbor's yard. But, uh, I'm not in the neighbor's yard. I'm on, I'm in the middle of all this brush and crap. Trying hard not to fall in with my camera. And, uh, I can hear the toads. Haven't spotted one yet. Still waiting. I can hear them. They're all around me. And uh, it's a very exciting moment because uh, I'm on the verge of a lifer here. You just gotta sit and wait until one shows itself. And I'm looking, there's one calling right over there. I just gotta find it. I see one. You guys see him from here? There it is. See it? That's it. That's my lifer. How cool is that? I'm gonna have to go get a closer look, of course. Hopefully, I don't spook them. my way home here you know just from over that way and uh spot this little guy right on the trail well not really a trail is it it's more of a driveway these guys they have beautiful markings don't they he's all balled up because he doesn't want me to mess with him how cool is that eastern spade for toad coolest little frogs. Look at that pattern. Look at that thing. Just a cool little frog. But uh, we'll put them back down, you know. Handling these things isn't terribly good for them, so I'll move him off of the driveway here and let him be on his way. But I had to get a look at him. Other toads? That's a big one. Look at him go. That's like a worm. Want to poke him? Mm -hmm. Oh, there he goes. Story. You touched him. Good job. <laughs> That's fine. Yes. Yeah, they're a little slimy, aren't they? <laughs> oh, look, and there's a worm. A worm! He's too close to the frog. Oh! Mm-hmm. Oh, touch the No touchy, no. What kind is it? What species is that? It's a space toad. Yeah, there you go. Good job. There he goes. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Bye bye. Alright, it was just pounding rain out here, but I could not pass up the opportunity to come back out here and get a better shot at these frogs. And look at that, that does not disappoint. That's a beauty. I think that's the prettiest one I've seen.
so I'm actually in my backyard now. You can see the chickens. Check this out. See the flooding that's going on around here? Look at that. It's not raining at the moment, but boy did it ever yesterday. Chickens are staying high and dry on their perch, except for that one over there. But I thought I'd walk around my backyard a little bit. Last night was pretty intense with the spade foot toads. And uh, as you can see, my own yard has flooded. And I can hear some toads out here. I don't know if I'm going to see any. Yeah, check that out. That's some flooding all right. Yeah, so this is my backyard. <laughs> And it's pretty well soaked. But that's okay. My wife said it's a little scary, but I think it's pretty cool. This is ankle deep. I'm kind of surprised there's no toads in my actual yard. But most of them are over there. That's where I was filming last night in that ditch over there. This is the neighbor's yard. I don't see any just now, but we'll walk over and see if we can see some. They're all around. That's what's crazy. I mean, they're just everywhere. Every, every place that's flooded, these things are in it. And uh, for locals, this is probably nothing terribly new or exciting, but for me, it's pretty cool. I've been wanting to see one of these spade foot toads since I was a kid. Right, so it's night two, May 19th, and I thought the spade foots were done because I, I didn't hear them calling much today after this morning but now they appear to be right here in my own backyard so as you can see my yard is thoroughly soaked so we're gonna investigate and see if we can find a few more just walking back in from searching the backyard for the spade foot toes and uh, Pope's gray tree frog in there I heard him singing a little while ago I was hoping I'd get to see him and uh, sure enough there he is It'd be kind of cool if we get a whole bunch of them in there oh that okay so there's another one somewhere so this is a different one where's the one that's singing <laughs> 